The idea is to make a cake which should look like this trophy from the Great Bake of Denmark. I had uh, different tries. It was a little bit difficult before I ended up doing this cake. The full recipe of this cake is in the description. Have fun! Preparing the crunchy ruby chocolate layer. The ruby chocolate crunch goes on the pumpkin seed sponge, which I already have made. This is going to be the bottom layer of my cake. On top of this goes a white chocolate cream with lemon and thyme. And in the center we're going to have a passion fruit curd and two dacquoise sponges. On top of the cake are going to be raspberries and elderflower jelly. Turn the bottom layer upside down on a piece of baking paper that keeps it straight when it cools down in the fridge. Let's prepare a passion fruit curd for the center of the cake. This passion fruit curd is the center of my cake. It's going to be uh, frozen and uh, between a layer of a dacquoise sponge on each side. Now to the base of the cake, a white chocolate cream with lemon and thyme. Now it's time to assemble the cake. Now the mousse needs to go into the freezer just for a moment, just until set, because the passion fruit curd is a little bit heavy. Then continue with the rest of the cream. These are the transfer sheets specially made for the show. They are supposed to be on the side of the cake. Normally when you make this kind of chocolate decoration you need to make it very thin. 
because then it's easier to cut. But because I needed this uh, decoration for the program and I didn't want it to break, I made them a little bit thicker. At this point, the chocolate hasn't fully crystallized. It has just set to the touch. That makes it much easier to cut. In order to keep these chocolate plates straight while they're cooling, I put a flat tray on top and a little bit of weight. So now I have to arrange the raspberries in the cake and you can see at the edge of the cake there's a plastic uh, corner and it needs to be very tight because we have to put elderflower jelly inside to make this look like glass when you look inside. The elderflower jelly is under 28 degree, otherwise uh, I can risk to melt the chocolate cream. At this point you really would like to have the frame and the corners of this uh, cake really really tight otherwise you have the risk of having elderflower jelly all over the kitchen. I tried that. To remove the last air bubbles on the jelly, use a blowtorch very fast on top and they will disappear. Then let the jelly set in the fridge. Right now I cut on the inside of the plastic sheet because then it's easier to remove later. Right after this we are filming, uh, so there's no time for mistakes right now. Here I heat the sides very carefully with a blowtorch. Remember there's still a plastic sheet which can melt. Voila! And now the plastic sheet can be removed. Believe me, if I hadn't cut it before, it would be much more difficult. And you wouldn't have these straight corners and edges which you really want on this cake. I think we are getting there. Just cutting it to the perfect size with a warm knife.
Melting on a warm plate gives you the perfect edges. So we are nearly done, only the chocolate decorating on top is missing. Katrine, my colleague, is piping the decorating on baking paper on both sides. And then we're coloring with clean alcohol and gold powder. That means just alcohol is mixed with gold powder and then you spray on this color. Very easy. Beautiful. Now we just need to place that on top of the cake and the cake is done. Yes, the program can begin. I hope you liked that video and I hope you will be back for more. And if you subscribe to my channel, you are really sweet. Have a nice day. Bye.